I, I guess I, I'm, I, I'm a little, um, y'all would be jealous of me on Wednesday nights if you got to experience what I got to experience every Wednesday night with this group right here. We have a worship service on Wednesday nights. And these kids, they lift their hands. I've never told them to lift their hands. They do that on their own. I never sat there and told them to do that, but they are totally genuine in their praise. And I'm telling you, you'd be jealous if you could see what I see on Wednesday nights. I'm telling you, you would. And I'm gonna tell you something else. The Bible says, blessed are the pure in, pure in heart, for they shall see God. I'm gonna tell you, kids are pure. Don't you wanna be pure again like that sometimes? We've got all this junk in our life, all this junk that comes in our life, and we, we let it disturb who we should be in Christ Jesus. We let it disturb our worship. And today, I'm going to ask you to do something, and Lance is going to come up. and uh, Go ahead and come on up, Lance. I'm going to introduce you a little bit more. But as Lance comes up, I want, to, I want to challenge you to do something. I want you to think like a child today. The Bible says that, that heaven is full. The Bible is going to be full of childlike faith people. I want you to think like a child today. I want you to have a heart like a child today. Is your heart pure? Is your heart ready to worship? If it's not, what's, what's, what's going on? What's stopping you? This is Lance Brown. He's going to paint a, a beautiful picture for us, and he's also going to speak to us here in just a minute. But Y'all welcome Lance Brown as we get started. <laughs>
y'all very much. I catch my breath a second. Hold on. Thank you. Well, my name's Lance Brown. I came in from Arlington, Texas yesterday, and I really enjoyed myself this weekend. Working with the kids yesterday all day, it was just a, a real joy for me. I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself today and about this ministry that I have. Um, I've always been good at art. Just as a kid growing up, I could draw anything. But it wasn't always easy for me because I'm colorblind. And so that's been a tremendous struggle for me uh, my whole life. And then in uh, college, I went to the Art Institute of Dallas. And there they taught me graphic design. So I was doing websites and logos and things on the computer. And I did that for a long time. And then I forgot about my love for art during that time. And so there was just this one day where it clicked and I said, man, I'm wasting my talent. And it made me sad. So I went to the store and I just bought some paints. I had never really painted before, aside from messing around with some watercolors as a kid. But I quickly found out that I could paint anything I wanted just like I could draw. And so this was a whole new world for me uh, in which I could create. And if you were a friend or a family member, you could always expect something like that around birthdays and Christmas. So lots of, uh, you know, my, my mom's house and my in-law's house is like a museum for me over there. I've always got it going. Uh, got those pictures going up on the walls every year. So it's nice to be able to visit those. Uh, but yeah, after college, I uh, started painting. And about six years ago, I painted a picture for my church. It was the first time I had ever, ever painted a picture of Jesus. And the church actually asked the entire congregation to submit our work of Christ. And so I, I did a painting. And by the way, I have some more paintings right out here uh, that you can see. And I'll show you which one I'm talking about. But I painted a picture of Christ. and. Uh, they hung all the pictures in the church. And then the worship minister, the music minister, called me and said, hey, man, we really like your painting. And would you consider doing something like this on stage for us? And I said, absolutely not. <laughs> no way. Uh, I, I, was, I was super nervous to do that. I, I actually, I took some time to think about it. And uh, I prayed about it. I talked to my, my family and just really decided, you know what, it doesn't matter how I feel. This is, this is an opportunity for God to use me and maybe bless some other people. So I had to put myself aside and step outside of that comfort zone. And when I did that, I found blessing. Because after I painted that picture, well, while I was painting that picture, I realized that this is such an awesome worship experience for me. You know, you're not just the ones that get something out of it. This is very personal to me. And when I'm up here, it's a connection between me and God. And it's funny to look back and see how he's prepared me for this moment. You know, even when I did that first picture of Christ, I was journaling. And I wrote in my journal after painting that picture. I said, I painted a picture of Jesus last Sunday or last week. And I really lost myself in the worship of that painting. And I feel like this has something to do with my calling. And so looking back, that's a very prophetic journal entry. But I still didn't really get it. I didn't know that this is what he wanted me to do. So I did go back to the corporate environment uh, doing graphic design. And in 2013, my house flooded from a plumbing issue. And I have a wife and three kids. And we were all in a hotel for about two months. And then when the contractors were almost done, they caught my house on fire. Looks like I hired the wrong people. So anyway, we, got, uh, we won another three months in the hotel. And so during that time, I didn't have my art supplies with me. I didn't have uh, the room or the space to do this. So the website that I had started for this, I ended up taking down and decided, you know what, I can't do this anymore. And I, I was done. I checked out. And what I forgot about was my YouTube videos. So I still had videos out there on YouTube, and one of the largest churches in Dallas, 
contacted me after seeing one of those videos and asked me to come paint this for them. Now before, before that happened, I had painted it right side up just like this, and it was still good. But they asked me to paint it upside down because they were talking about looking at things through a different perspective, through God's perspective. And so, yeah, I, I can try that, sure. So I practiced it at home a couple of times and ended up, uh, ended up doing that event. And I was completely re-energized by that event. And God re-inspired me through that. And, you know, a few weeks later, we got out of the hotel and we were back at home. So I, was, I decided to keep going with this. And what I learned from that experience is that, you know, it doesn't always work out the way you plan it. If God wants you for your, for his purpose, if God wants you for his purpose, he's going to show you in one way or another. He, he made it almost where I couldn't refuse. So uh, just decided to continue to follow him through that. And then in 2014, my wife and I were both working for the same job, a little marketing company uh, there in Arlington. And then we found out that the boss was doing some crooked stuff. So we ended up walking out together without a backup plan, us and a few other employees. And at that point, we didn't have a backup plan. So here I am with a wife and three kids. We're both walking out of our job. We have no income now. But I just knew that we had to get away from that situation. It didn't matter what happened. I was going to trust God that he was going to provide for us. And so at that time, I prayed, God, if this is what you want me to do, then make it clear quick, because I don't have time for this. And so the answer that I got was, my phone just started ringing, and I can't explain it. There was, uh, there was multiple people that called me and said, I don't know you, and you don't know me, but I want to help you. And they started introducing me to this person and that person, and before long, I had, from October to December, I had about 32 painting performances out of the blue. And I can't explain it. Before that, prior to that year, I had about 10 or 12. So it completely opened up and it hasn't stopped. It's just amazing how God has blessed this. And for me, after praying for my purpose for a very long time, God has answered that prayer and shown me through the course of events, that this is what he wants me to do. He continues to confirm it every time he gives me a, an assignment, a place to go. And my prayer is, God, whenever, wherever you want to use me, I want to be ready. I want to say yes. And so just trying to be obedient, you know, and put myself aside. And even though I was nervous getting up here to paint the first time, I'm, I'm used to it now. And then... What does, he, what does he do? He makes me uncomfortable again and asks me to start speaking. Most people would rather die than get up here and speak. Anybody? Right? Anybody agree? Yeah. So, I'm slowly getting over that wish to die up here. <laughs> now, I'm, I'm getting used to it, but uh, now, you know, I just want to, I want to share what God's doing in my life. And let you know that I'm living completely by faith right now. I have no idea where my paycheck's coming from a few months down the road, but I know that God is going to take care of us because he continues to do that. Ever since 2014, at October, where we left, he has just anointed what I've done and has provided for us every month. And there's, there was one month where he really put our faith to the test last September. I had zero zero jobs, zero places to go paint. And I started to get worried about halfway through the month. And so I, I was hustling too, you know, I was praying that God would help me, but I was hustling too. And so I ended up doing a couple of performances uh, for not a whole lot of money. You know, I had to, I had to give them a deal to, to get in there. But through those two performances, God took care of every one of our needs and just shows you that you can't give up. You can't give up on God. You've got to keep that faith. And I'm not special by any means. I'm just trying as best as I can to follow God and do what He wants me to do. And it has been just a, an amazing journey. My wife and kids, a lot of times they come with me and help me. So it's very much a family affair. And I love working with the youth because I want them to see how someone is using uh, the gift that God has given them to glorify Him. Because when I gave my gift to God, 
He made it more than I ever dreamed, more than I ever imagined. And I, it's, it's just more than I ever expected. Um, in the past year, in 2015, something else that wasn't even my idea, but God put auctions and fundraisers in my life. And over the past year, I've raised almost $100,000 for charity by performing and then auctioning the artwork. Just this last Friday, I did a painting of, it was for, a, a for needy kids, basically, that need scholarships that are less fortunate, and raised $9,000 on my artwork this past Friday to go to that cause. So I'm, I'm just really proud that God has not only allowed me to do what I love and travel all over the place and share this with, with a lot of people, but he's, he's showing me how to give back. And, you know, if you want more, you give away more, you know? And, and God just, he completely multiplies things in that, in that moment. And so I just want to, to continue to honor him with what I'm doing, continue to give it back to him because it's not ours anyway. And just, uh, you know, I'm praying that he would inspire me and keep me motivated to do this. Um, like I said, I, I love what I do. I just want to thank you all for having me today. Um, I'd love to meet everybody outside here. I'll, I'll have a table right out these doors. And uh, please stop by. I've got bookmarks on the table. Please take one of those for yourself. I'd love for you to have a Bible marker and have some of my art and some scriptures on that. But uh, just want to say that I'm, I'm really proud of your kids this weekend. These kids were awesome. And the moment that I got to spend with them yesterday was really special to me. And like I said, God continues to confirm what I'm doing by moments like that. So really appreciate y'all having me. I'm so grateful for all the opportunities that I get, especially this one. So I just, uh, everywhere I go, I meet new friends and everybody treats me like family and you guys are no exception. So I really appreciate you. Thank you.